President Biden has signed a new executive order directing federal agencies to promote voting access. This is just a small move in a much larger debate swirling in Washington, D.C. and in states across the country over voting rights. On the 56th commemoration of Bloody Sunday, President Biden signs executive orders to increase voting access. Bloody Sunday is the day in Alabama history when hundreds of marchers were beaten by state troopers. It led to the Voting Rights Act. Elected officials in 43 states have already introduced over 250 bills to make it harder for Americans to vote. We can not let them succeed. Biden's order is only a small portion of the debate happening in Congress and state legislatures. Congress is considering House Resolution 1, which could change things like gerrymandering of congressional districts and change campaign finance laws. It's designed to stifle what Republican-led state legislatures are doing in states like Florida and Georgia. I spoke with the head of the Duval County GOP, who says changes need to happen to improve election security in Florida. We have a lot of voters who do not trust the electoral system right now. And we need to have a system in place that we can show the country that works. I also spoke with State Senator Annette Tadeo of Miami. She says these moves on the state level are blatant partisanship and meant to keep voters from the ballot box. This is all political. This has nothing to do with fixing problems. Um, but clearly, it's about the re-election of Governor Ron DeSantis because the Democrats finally got people out to vote in large, large numbers. Georgia Republicans have already made more than uh, an headway in election reform. They already passed House Bill 531, which adds requirements for absentee ballots and limits ba uh, ballot drop boxes. Some civil rights groups are calling on Atlanta-based companies like Coca-Cola and Delta to join in the fight against the legislation.